Last Thursday night at the Towson Center, the Tigers would try to get their first home game victory of the season against the visiting Georgetown Hoyers. Trying to beat the Hoyers for the second time in as many years and to start the game out, Brenna Pollock goes a little window shopping. I know Black Friday was last week, but she doesn't care. Off the backboard, Georgetown would take the 2-6 advantage over the Tigers. Then, Sinead Baker-Bryce right back at you. She's got three names. She's got three points. Towson up, down 6-5 to five with 16.47 to go in the game. Then Holly Mahan, that's a nice three-pointer from the right wing from Holly. Just like that, tied game 12-12. to 12. Towson going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Georgetown. Then how about the step-in jumper? It's good. Georgetown would take the 18-15 to 15 lead with eight minutes to go over the Tigers. Then Shanae Baker-Bryce. We talked about the three names. Once again, going theme for Shanae. Then Elise Freeman, second half action would go up by as many as eight points with 18 minutes to go in the second half. Then Holly Mayhan one more time from deep as the Tigers would get another three-pointer and hang on to that eight-point lead. Then how about a little back door from Jaleesa Butler laying on the backside there, 39 to 38. Then one more time, Jaleesa Butler, hook shot, left hand, it's up, it's good. Georgetown would outscore the Tigers in the paint 28 to 14 in this one as the Tigers would now trail by nine after being up earlier than Butler backdoor one more time. That's obviously her favorite play off the glass. 60 to 48, the Tigers down and they would try to climb their way back into this game. Get it? Elise Freeman bounces it off the rim into the cup, but it wouldn't be enough as the Tigers lose to Georgetown 67 to 57, dropping them to two and two on the year.